Okay, so we have um, animated the bird. Is that the one? <laughs> That's the one. Alright, so we have animated the bird flying in place, and now we need to duplicate the cycle and we also need to make it fly wherever we want to. So, first to duplicate the cycle, I need to select all the animated elements, which is basically the whole bird. And you see this is 30 frames, let's say that I want to animate over 300 frames, it means that I need 10 cycles. So, I will select all the keyframes. So after I've selected all the elements, I have to select all the keyframes of these elements. And I set my time configuration to 300. So the added time would not really be, uh, would not have any animation. I just animated over 30 frames. So what I need to do now is select the keyframes and press shift and copy. Right, so the last frame should have the beginning of the new cycle and I'll do the same over and over and I look down here to see that I copied um, in the proper range right so it says from 0 to 60 so I hit 60 on the mark now I need to hit 120 on the mark so if I go like this I should stop at 120 which I did and um, the beginning of the cycle is here now. I'll make a copy there. There. And the last cycle I need to have is here. So now the bird would actually fly over all these without any glitches, without any breaks. So the question is how to make the bird fly anywhere we like. What we need to do is create a parent object, which is a point, and link all the elements of the bird to that point. Actually, we don't link, need to link all the elements. We just need to link the body of the bird. So that's the point. I'll choose box, and I'll change the size so that the selection would be easy. All right? I'll select everything except for the point and I link these elements or actually I don't need to link as I said everything I just need to link the body to the um, point so now whenever I take the point and move it around the whole bird will follow so let's see how we can animate the bird now we can animate it by hand there are several ways we can animate it by hand let's do that now auto key and we go to frame 30 and we go like this for example and halfway through we can make the bird fly higher just give it another rotation all right <laughs> and let's go like that so if we play All right, now it seems too slow because it's not flying far away. So we go, we can go to the uh, frame 300 and just push the, world, the bird to the side. All right, we can also go to the curve editor and um, X position, we don't, didn't animate an X. X is this direction here, here sideways. We didn't animate the bird sideways, so it's flat. That's why it's flat. But we animated the Y position, and it's a good thing to, you know, curve this nicely. The Z position is the up and down position, and again, it's nice to curve it uh, nicely. If I keep it straight, it means that it's flying in a straight line up there. I prefer to give it a little curve, so that it's not perfectly flat. Alright, so I can hide now the uh, point. I don't really need it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna render anyway. But just to see the bird without it. Alright, if I don't really see in the viewport what's happening, I can create a preview of the animation. So animation.
make preview active time segment 320 times 240 if you need to be more you can set 100 percent so you're gonna have 640 times 480 and you would create so that would give you the real time after it's done of course uh, the real time <laughs> all right i still can't see it so uh, what i need to do is either scrub by hand or create a full render that's when i can see it properly all right another way to animate the bird is um, actually i'll delete the keyframes for the point and i'll create a curve and i'll let the bird fly over the curve so i'll go to line shapes line and smooth and smooth and I'll create a line that goes like this so that's gonna be the trajectory of the bird that's gonna give you a better result because you don't have to fiddle with the curve editor to make sure everything is smooth it is smooth depending on the way you draw it all right you can convert these to Bezier because then you can really play with the curvature as you like so here go like that and so forth so now that we have this we grab this and we go to animation constraints and path constraint and click here so if I press play it is gonna take the path as a trajectory but I don't know if you notice it's not really rotating with the path you see it's always in the same direction I can make it take the direction of the path by scrolling down and choosing follow all right and here I chose follow but I need to rotate locally so that it takes the direction rotate by 90 degrees locally local means take the orientation that it has and rotate in that orientation and then I can go back to view so anyway now if I play the animation I will see that the bird will fly but also take the path and the direction of the path and its flight which is very nice and of course I can hide the path and the line the uh, point and then I would just get the bird doing its flight and that's how you would animate a bird flying in a cycle and then duplicate that cycle to make it fly over a path